Have you ever done uh, any scenes with uh, Malik Delgadi? No. You know of Malik? Bum, bum, bum. Isn't, isn't that the, the straight guy for men.com, I think? Yes, yes. yes. He did, I did podcast. People love him, by the way. I don't know what it is about him, but this guy, he whatever I post with him, like pulls numbers. He's just this straight guy who's like, um, you know, very masculine mm -hmm. and Swap. very big. Pretty Swap, hairless man. though. I'll say he's very big, very yeah. masculine, very hairless though. Do you think somebody like him, that's always a question I like to ask. Do you think somebody like him was like doing um, the gay porn? At a very high level, like he is. I don't know if you've seen the so, scene with him, but he's he's destroying those twinks. Like yeah. it is, it is sad but impressive. So the one thing that is also very frustrating is so he definitely. I mean, he is a gorgeous man, but he also definitely gets paid very well, yeah. and it's because of the straight privilege of straight men get paid more in gay porn. Okay, which is it's it's a very disgusting thing of just. I mean, because obviously gay men have a fetish with straight men yeah i mean you literally have a whole entire podcast because of like gay men yeah. lusting after you guys yeah, yeah, yeah which is okay but i don't think it's okay that the industry feeds into it by literally paying straight men more to do gay porn interesting but how do they know because if it, it's just about what you represent right because yeah. i mean you could be honestly i think you could be passing as a straight guy yeah. right I mean, and and trust me it's even gone through my head where i've had moments where i've thought God, I wish I had just never publicly been out because mm. like I can make so much bank being like, oh, I don't want to do this. This sucks. I have to have a guy right now suck my dick. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Damn. You're raging boner. Like, well, plus, it would, also, it would also make work so easy. I could be like, oh, just I. Oh, no, I can't get hard because I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> like all these things would just make it so much easier. You wouldn't have to do anything. <laughs> straight privilege. I can't believe it. You, you could pretend to be straight and it would be good for your career. I, it would be so much better. How interesting. Wow. What a mind fuck. Like I even have one of my friends who, when he got into OnlyFans, he started, he identified as like straight, but like curious. Then he was like, you know, he's like, I'm probably bi. And then finally he accepted he's like pansexual. <laughs> okay. Um, but... The th sad thing is, the more he accepted his sexuality, the less money he started making. Damn. And like fans were actually like mad at him for not being st straight anymore. That's so and, funny. And it's really sad. And that's gay people yeah, being no, yeah. mad at him yes. for accepting who he is. Yes. That's so <laughs> twisted. I can't wow. believe it. I mean, that just that just shows there's still so much self hatred in the gay community that yeah. like they're yeah. they're mad at somebody who is no longer their fantasy of somebody doing something they don't want to do. Yeah. Where do you think that comes from? Like, why is it such yeah. a big fetish for a gay man to have a straight it's, guy? So it's a, it's about, you want the acceptance of the thing that rejected you the most. Gotcha. So, so they've been rejected. Now they want to recreate the fantasy where they yes. got what they wanted. Cause you want the approval of the thing that rejected you. Got it. So growing up, you were most likely either bullied by a straight person or you knew they were there and you never could have them. So you now have this mm -hmm. fantasy of, I want approval from this person that was so mean to me. Mm. And that's why they love a straight guy. And they love seeing them like, oh, well, he has to do gay things. Yeah. So he has to do this. Mm, okay. But then if all of a sudden he's gay, they're like, I hate him. Yeah. He's one of us. I hate him. Yeah. Because then he becomes competition all of a sudden. It's like the different. He takes what you wanted kind of. It's like there's so much psychology going into this. I love it. No, it's not yeah. even competition. It's because if he's now a gay person, they now have a fear of being rejected. Mm, yeah. Just think about this. If they were to hit on a straight guy and the guy goes, I'm not interested, they'll go, oh, it's because he's straight. If you were gay, though, they'll go, I am I ugly? Am mm -hmm. I not attractive? Is my body? Am I not hairy enough? Like, Whatever. And you're, yeah. na you're now attacking their insecurities. Yeah. Well, if it's a straight person, they could always feel safe because they get to know that you'll never reject them because of them, but just because they're gay.